hello students today we will talk about questions in which two solids are will be given and we have to draw their combined isometric view now you see over here it is written a cube of side 40 mm is resting centrally on top of a rectangular block of length 80 width 60 and height 15 draw isometric view of both solids so if you have to solve these type of questions first of all you have to draw that solid which is lying at the bottom so in this question cube is resting on top of a rectangular block so first of all we have to draw the isometric view of rectangular block so for that what we need to do we need to draw a line of around three to four centimeters and uh, use one dot from that dot you have to draw two isometric axes both will be at 30 degree uh, to the horizontal line so draw mark two angles 30 degree on both sides then use your scale to draw the two isometric axes this time we have to draw long isometric axis because for rectangular block length is 80 and width is 60 so these are the two isometric axis now what we will do we will draw length 80 mm on right axis and width 60 mm on left axis so we will use compass for that so open your compass to 80 millimeters after that cut 80 millimeters on right axis then use 60 millimeters to mark an arc on the left axis so this is the length of the block this is the width of the block now you see height of the block is given as 15 mm so what we will do from these three points we will draw the third axis third axis which is isometric axis is always vertical so from this particular point we have to draw a vertical line of 15 millimeters which is the height of the block so from this point draw 15 mm length and from this point as well draw 15 mm length then from this point 15 mm length so after that we will join these points over here as well now the front two side faces are ready for a rectangular block we need to create its top face so how to create we need this length over here means ATMM length at this point so what we will do we will measure ATMM from here and mark from this particular point mark an arc now we need this 60 mm length or width we can say over here so measure this 60 mm width from this point from this point we have measured this length this width and mark from this particular point so we'll get an intersection over here so let us join these points as I said whenever you have to draw isometric views draw these views thin at the start so we are keeping this isometric view also thin so you see we are ready with the isometric view of rectangular block now what we have to do we have to place cube centrally centrally means the center of the base of the cube coincides with the center of top face of rectangular block so first of all we need to find the center of top face of the rectangular block so for that what we need to do mark the midpoints of these sides so this is 60 so let us measure 30 millimeters to mark the midpoints so from here 30 then from this point 30 then we will measure 40 mm because the length is 80 so from here mark the first midpoint on this line the second midpoint will be here now we have marked all the four midpoints now join these midpoints with thin line again to draw two center lines
So you see, we are able to find uh, the center of the top of the rectangular block, the top face of the rectangular block. Now, what we need to do, we need to draw the bottom face of the cube on the top face of the rectangular block first. So over here, side of the cube is given as 40. So what we will do from center, we have to mark 20 this side, 20 other side. Side is 40, it means its width is also 40. So from center, 20 this side, 20 other side. So, that, so what we are doing actually, on this center line, we are taking length of the cube. On this uh, center line, we are taking width of the cube. As it is a cube, so both length and width are same. So as we have to rest the cube centrally, so from center we are marking half of the dimension of the cube on both sides of this center. So from center 20 this side, from center 20 other side, so from center 20 this side, from center 20 other side. So this we will do with the help of compass. So open compass to 20 millimeters from center mark 4 arcs cut these center lines now we need to generate the base of the cube isometric of the base of the cube by using these points so what we will do next if you are you if you are using ruler scale then uh, it will be easy for you what you can do you can align your ruler scale with this particular line roll back at this particular point draw a line here then roll to this particular point, draw another line here. Then align your scale with this particular axis, roll back to this particular <coughs> point and you can draw a line here and uh, again align to this particular axis, roll to that particular point, you can draw one line here as well. So this work you will use, do only with roller scale. If you don't have roller scale, then what you can do, let me tell the another step. So you can make use of your compass. So we will open compass equal to this distance which is 20 and we will use this point first. From this point draw one arc on this side. Then use this point with 20 mm length only draw another arc. So we got the corner of the we got the corner of the cube. Now use this particular point again with the help of compass 20 then use this point again with compass 20 now use this particular point with the, with the help of compass 20 then this point 20 so use these two points now from here 20 from this point again 20 so you see what we have done we used these four points to generate four corners of the bottom face of the cube now we will join these points with thin lines One thing to note here that uh, if you are drawing isometric of a cube, so it will be isometric of a square for the bottom face of the cube. So in this case, this point will lie exactly above this point. This will happen only in case of isometric of a cube. Now what we will do from these four points, we will raise height of the cube which is again 40 mm. So we will place our scale at this corner and draw a thick line, uh, light thin line at the start of 40 millimeters. Then from this point as well, draw a 40 millimeter length height. Then when you will draw from this corner 40 millimeters, you will find that it will exactly stop at this particular point. So this is the geometry of the cube. Don't get confused. Then from this point again, draw a height of 40 millimeters. Now to this we will join these four points to get the isometric of the cube.
so you see at the start we kept everything very thin why because see some of the edges of the bottom face and some of the edges of the top face to top solid will be hidden behind these faces now let us make the visible edges thick so let us first talk about this cube in cube we have to make these edges thick because these are directly visible to us these are not hidden you see we are ready with the, the isometric of the cube so we kept this edge this edge and this edge thin because these three edges are hidden behind these three faces similarly this particular edge of the bottom solid only this portion will be visible so make this portion thick similarly this edge of the bottom solid only this portion will be visible make it thick and these all edges will be visible to us so let us make these thick now you see we are ready with the isometric of these two solids this is the final answer but one thing to note uh, don't place any dimension inside the drawing so what uh, I will do I will erase this particular uh, line and I will place it at the bottom now so now we will place the isometric dimensioning so we have to place this length which is 80 for that what you will do you will line your scale with this particular axis draw extension line here then align your scale with this particular axis use your roller scale roll to this particular edge and draw thin line here so our motive is that this particular line and this line sh these two should be parallel and should be parallel to this particular axis now align your roller scale again with this particular edge roll back by 10 or 15 millimeters and draw dimension line here so add closed filled arrowheads on both sides so we will write its dimension which is 80 millimeters then align your scale with this particular axis 1 millimeter gap extend it use roller scale roll to this particular edge again draw extension line align your roller scale with this axis uh, roll back by 10 or 15 millimeters draw another line which is dimension line so this will give us the width of the bottom solid which is rectangular block so let me call it as 60 now we have to place this height so what is the correct method align your scale with this axis now 1 millimeter gap thin line align with this axis 1 millimeter gap thin line now between these two we have to draw a vertical line so over here we will place closed field arrowheads so its height is 15 millimeters now we are done with the dimensioning of the bottom solid so let us place the dimensions of the top solid which is a cube so in case of cube uh, we will just place one dimension so we will align with this axis extend it align with this axis extend it and uh, use roller scale roll with this axis uh, align with this axis roll back by some distance around 15 millimeters draw a dimension line here so add closed filled arrowheads so we'll, over here we will write the dimension of the cube as you know this is a cube so there is no need to place its length or height you we have just placed once dimensioning for the one side that is sufficient after this we will uh, place the angles angle is 30 degree over here 30 degree so this is the final answer to the problem i hope this will make you understand how to solve such problems where two solids are given and we have to draw their combined isometric view thank you very much